In today's video, we're going to be working on this trash to treasure makeover. There seems to be a lot of purple candle wax on this piece, but we can clean that right up. There's a few cosmetic issues with this, but the bones are pretty good. Let's flip it. The first step should always be prep work, so here I'm removing all of the candle wax. I quickly realized that I don't want to use my sanding paper for this too much because I think it's just a sheet of laminate over like particle board. It's not a heavy piece, it's light. It's pretty new from the store, you can tell. Um, someone just must have spilled candle wax on it and then thought it was garbage, but we know better. Here I'm using my Dixie Belle's White Lightning Cleaner. I use this to clean the entire piece down. Now I go over the piece with water and a rag. I just want to make sure there's no cleaner residue left over. I'm using my shellac as a primer on this piece because there was still some red dye coming up when I was wiping and also because I really, when you don't know where something comes from, you don't know if somebody was a smoker in the house or they had a dog. So just to cover any odors, I'm going to use that shellac. In here, I'm using Dixie Belle's Vintage Duck Egg again because I love this color. I think it's great. It's really trendy right now and I think it'll give it a great look. I wanna do some distressing and I think with the dark wood underneath coming up, they just, they really complement each other. Here, I did wait till the top was completely dry and I'm only on my first coat. I wanted to make sure that I got the legs and covered the entire table. I painted a total of two coats on this table just to ensure full coverage. I decided to go with wet distressing when I'm doing this piece. Because the top is made of laminate and I want the dark brown to show through, if I use sandpaper, I know that I'm going to scuff it up just enough so that the particle board will come through. And the particle board is a light brown and I don't want that. I actually wanted the dark brown to show through. So I'm using water with my sponge and I'm just gently removing the chalk paint. I'm not trying to sand through it. I'm not trying to be rough. I'm just trying to remove some of the paint. And because chalk paint is activated with water and it's only been about 30 minutes since I applied my last coat, I know that it's gonna come off with ease. I have to say, distressing is a funny thing. Either you love it or you hate it. I've heard so many people say, why would you ruin a perfectly good piece, you know? And I hate to admit this, but at one point in my life, I was one of those people. I just didn't get it. Now I get it. Beauty is definitely in imperfections, and this is art. So when you can look at a piece that's been scuffed up and you can say, wow, that's gorgeous, it's, it's art. I want to add that when you're wet distressing, you should always have a dry rag in case you have some drips. You don't want to wet your whole piece after you've just painted it and then you have, you know, it dries up and you have drip marks. So just keep your dry rag close to you. When you're distressing a piece, you have to decide how much or how little you want to go. For this piece, I've decided I'm just going to go in the middle. I'm not going to go crazy with distressing, but I'm going to do all the corners and sides, all the edges. I think that'll look great. And I'm going to add this transfer to give it a real country look.
The beauty of the distressed look is I'm not really worried about my transfer going on perfectly. If a little bit chips or comes off, that's okay. It's just part of the look. Now to seal the top, I'm using my triple thick polyurethane. And you never want to shake this because there'll be bubbles and it'll go on horribly. You just wanna mix it. I always use a heavy duty sealer on the tops of tables or side tables and tables dressers. I always use them on the tops because most of the time people put stuff on there or you know kids will start playing with their toys on there. So they get a lot of use out of them and we wanna protect it. And for the bottom, I use this Verathane's water-based polyurethane. It's just the regular one. I love this one. It's way easier to use than the triple thick. Um, you know, as far as streaking goes, this one goes on really, really nice. And I did two coats of my sealer with the top and the base. And here it is, all finished. I have to say, I think it was definitely worth saving from the trash. Don't forget, if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button because that helps support me and my channel, and I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys next week.